Honestly, Vander sucks. I mean, what kind of unit is so bad that he can't even grow throughout the later parts of the game? Like, D Oh. Oh, hi, Vander. I hope you didn't hear that. I mean, honestly, are we even sure this is Vander? Well, I guess he looks like Vander. Has stats like Vander. Yes, here. Moves like Vander. Attacks like Vander. Does about as much damage as Vander. Jokes aside, this is Colonel M, and this is Chapter 3 for Maddening Low Turn Count. So you're probably surprised that Vander is alive. Chapters 1 and 2, any of the units other than the Leer, if they die, will stick around. The goal with this map is actually to hug Fran. So you see what happened was is that uh, Queen Lumera is dead, and of course Lear is in quite a shock. But Fram luckily has a passive that helps with Lear and dodging. The enemy AI seems to target a Lear pretty hard in this map, so the thing is is that we try to take advantage of that by having her out front as much as possible. Vander of course helps with the Pegasus Knights that are on the right hand side. So after turn one, what will happen is, is that Alfred and the gang will join up with us. So for turn two, we're going to have Etienne finish off the Pegasus Knight that Vander damage. It doesn't matter if they're damaged or not, she does 23 damage and they have 23 health. Clan will finish off the sword fighter that's over here. And then what we're going to have Alir do is Lodestar Rush the Pegasus Knight that is right there. Um, this is just so that she can reach within the following turn as well when needed. The main thing is, is that she has to reach a Myrmidon within turn 3, and then her positioning also helps with Clan and a few others. So as a follow-up, we're going to have Fram heal Elir here, and then still keeping nearby so that we get the extra 10 avoid. With Boucheron, we're going to have him attack the Lance Fighter so that way he is broken. Doesn't really matter too much on that part, but Alfred will finish it off. This way, if Elir does not dodge, the Lance Fighter is still guaranteed to be killed. Finally, we have Vander move up so that he can lure in these Lance Pegasi. So, in the enemy phase, the Javelin Pegasi has about 55% display hit, or 60% true to hit Alir. It would be 65 without Fram passive. True hit is a little bit higher. The Lance Pegasi will ram into Vander while the other Pegasi from the bottom right hand side will attack Etie. The rest of the enemies will move and then turn 3 begins. So, we have turn 3 to go through, and I stutter a little bit just because it's the first time I was doing this particular positioning, but I decided to stick with it. So, we're going to have Alfred damage the Myrmidon over here on the right hand side and break him. This is just so that Alfred stays healthy throughout the combat. We're going to have Alir finish off the Myrmidon, and this positioning is actually important for Clan. Clan will start attacking the boss, and thanks to being near Lear, he will do more damage to the boss. This allows Vander to finish it off without taking a counterattack from the boss in the process. As you can see here. I'm sure you guess, but just so I were clear, uh, I was kidding as far as Vander being bad. He's pretty helpful with this. Also keep in mind that the EXP does not really matter here. For the boss. So, we're going to take Fram, keep her next to Alir, and use a Chain Guard. And then we're going to have Etier finish this off. I won't get lost. Then we're going to have Bushra move up. It doesn't really matter where he is placed. The Chain Guard is at least important, so that way one of the Pegasi will have one of their attacks wasted on them, allowing Alir to finish off with a counterattack. This critical from Alfred does not matter at all. Um, Boucheron is able to finish it off on turn 4, but I just keep it there because it's obviously part of the map. You do see there that the Chain Guard is broken, which meant that Alir was able to counterattack that particular Pegasi. Unfortunately, the second one she was not able to. Klein is able to counterattack this Pegasi and live on one health. So I'm sure in kindergarten the teacher would mention that when you make a mess, you have to clean it up. So it's cleanup time for the team. So Etia takes out this particular Pegasus Knight, whereas Vander starts to fatally chip this Pegasus Knight, the Javelin one that has been annoying us for quite a while, and then have Alfred come over here and finish it off. So, of course, there would be that one Myrmidon there, which Boucheron would be able to finish off, but we don't have to deal with that. Clan decides that he wants to flare it up a bit, so he crits. The crit doesn't matter here. Fram, on the other hand, decides to throw hands. She's had enough, and KOs this Pegasus Knight here. Finally, we have Alir finish off the Pegasus Knight here that she significantly chipped. 
and thus securing the last kill within the map and thus clearing the map. After Lear clears this, we secure the fourth turn, and for the most part, this is pretty reliable. Anyway, this has been Colonel M signing off. Have a good day. Hashtag Blessvander.